Hi everybody, it's Dr. Jason Holtzman from the Eye Studio. Some of you might have been told you need to do hot compresses to either help prevent or treat a dry eye. Well, what's that all about? Well, the top and bottom eyelid against the margin are glands called meibomian glands, and these special glands produce meibom, or an oil. This oil should be nice and thin and runny, like olive oil. Uh, and the job, it's a, the thin oil is to help provide a stable tear film to reduce evaporation, but also help prevent dry eye. But sometimes this oil gets thick and it's like butter. And so we need to heat these glands up and get the oil runny again so it can do its job. This helps prevent dryness and scarring and inflammation. Now, sometimes the, these glands or the oil is thick because of inflammation or also because of our diet. If we're not getting enough good omega-3s or fish oil, we'll see those thicker, thicker oil. So how do we do these hot compresses with lid massage? Well, you're gonna do your 10 to 15 minutes of heat, and depending on which mask you have, you might have to reheat it after five minutes. Because again, we wanna make sure we have that 40 degrees Celsius heat for that time to help melt the my bone. Now, after heating up the glands, we wanna gently massage them uh, to get rid of that extra oil. Now, you can do this by using either a Q-tip or a clean finger. We want to make sure that we don't rub against the cornea. That's the very front of the eye. So if I'm having patients do the bottom eyelid, I have them look up, pull the eyelid down a little bit, and just using the tip of your finger, you're just kind of rolling up along the eyelid. A little bit of firm pressure there helps to get the oil out of the glands. Same thing for the top eyelid. I just have to pull the eyelid up, looking down, so we're going against the eyeball, and just kind of roll down like that. And we're gonna get all the extra mybum, uh, that oil, out of the glands. Now, unless your doctor has told you differently, we do these about once a day. And whether it be morning or evening, that really is up to you. Uh, I, whenever you'll get them done is the best time to do them. I do find that most patients prefer to do these at nighttime. And the reason for that is 15 minutes of heat on a closed eye is very relaxing and usually helps, helps for uh, sleep. Now, this is one of those things that you're just gonna plan for your routine. We're gonna get, make it part of your day versus just doing it for a couple weeks. It's something that you're gonna continue to do. Uh, think of it like brushing and flossing your teeth. You do that every day to help clean your teeth. This would be done every day to help clean your eyelids. Now it's okay to take a day off here or there. We know it's gonna happen. We just try to avoid missing two days in a row. So in the past, we would tell patients to use just a simple washcloth, get under the hot water, as hot as you could stand it. Uh, or we might say, while you're in the shower, let the hot water run on your eyes. But the problem with that is we know we need about 40 degrees Celsius heat for a minimum of five minutes to start melting that my bone. And ideally 10 to 15 minutes is fantastic. The other thing we, we wanna use, we wanna use moist heat. So we wanna avoid dry direct heat, like uh, certain masks or heat pads. Um, for two reasons. One, we know moist heat penetrates better, and so uh, it's going to start to melt the mybum easier. Uh, number two is the eyelid's really thin uh, skin, and so that direct heat can, can cause some damage to it. So at the eye studio, we use these special masks with these uh, moisture beads in them, and, and they're fantastic. They're easy to use, they're easy to clean, uh, and they're an all-natural product. They also come with these cotton liners. And what you can do is you can get it wet under warm or hot water and then wring it out so it's, it's, it's wet, damp, not soaking wet, and just goes on top of the mask like that. And then it, follow the instructions. Uh, it'll tell you to maybe put it on a paper towel or a microwavable safe plate just to keep it clean. Uh, they also come with this nice silk cover that helps keep them clean as well. And then depending on your microwave, we'd use it for about 20 seconds in the microwave. And then when it's done, take it out, make sure you and check it with your hands first, make sure it's not too hot for your eyelids, okay? So if you don't wanna use a microwave or you wanna have a mask that has heat that lasts for more than a few minutes, there are some options. We carry a product here called Tranquilize. And these are a really cool mask. Um, instead of working on a microwave and moisture beads, uh, it has these special discs and there's a little uh, metal disc, you click it, it starts the heat going and it lasts for about 20 minutes. These are also reusable, so you can drop them in boiling water and reuse them many, many times. Uh, these also can be put in the freezer, so if you want to have something for cold or for soothing the eyes, they can be put as cold as well as heat.